What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. This is my Q&A video. I will be answering some of you guys' questions that you guys left on my uh, video I made, I think a week or two ago. Uh, it's the video that says I'm not changing or sorry for changing. So I apologize for not getting this video out sooner. Uh, I just want to make sure to get, um, try to get everybody's questions in and I have a lot of them on my phone right now. You guys can't see it, but I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can and if I sound a little weird uh, it's because I I think I'm a little sick but I already pushed this video off uh, too much so I'm gonna try to get it done right now so let's start answering some of your guys' questions and also if you guys um, I got some of you guys' comments saying that I should do like this type of video every week answering you guys' questions and uh, if you guys wanna see that Make sure you guys let me know down below, or uh, you know, if this video gets like a hundred likes or something, I might do a Q and A answer video every week. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm a busy guy. I'm a <laughs> but let's go. First question is from Super Mario uh, Avion, and he says he has two questions. One, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Obviously, you can't have a chicken without the w without the egg, right? Because chickens come from eggs. So I would say the egg came first. Now we can say, well, you can't have an egg without a chicken. Well, where did that chicken come from? The egg. <laughs> uh, why did the chicken cross the road? The chicken crossed the road to lay the egg to make another egg. Or to make another chicken. Adrian. Uh, I'm not going to even try to pronounce the last name because I'm probably going to get it wrong. Okay. He says, are you going to make a You Forgot About series about Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain? while playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero. If you guys don't know, I'm doing the series where I do Batman You Forgot About, where I talk about you know stuff that Batman's forgotten about. And uh, I guess Adrian wants me to uh, do a series about Metal Gear Solid You Forgot About. But sadly, I, I never got into the Metal Gear Solid uh, games. I heard they're good, I heard they're cool. I just, I don't know, it just never appealed to me, so I'm probably not gonna do it, I apologize, but who knows I, I need to play all I can't do what you forgot about series for Metal Gear if I haven't played all the games and I don't know all um, all the characters so I can't do it sorry Sandra says Uncaged have you not seen the E3 Batman Arkham Knight demo and the Scarecrow reveal because you haven't made any videos on it now I have got gotten this question so much over the past like week or so uh, pretty much ever since that trailer got revealed I got comments saying, uh, have you seen it, have you seen it? Now, I have seen it, yes. I s saw the video the first day it got revealed and I uploaded a video to my channel, but I never made it public. Why? Because um, it was when I was at my cousin's graduation and you know I was trying to make some Mortal Kombat videos and I saw that video, uh, they just revealed the Arkham Knight trailer, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna upload this. But it was really late at night and I didn't want to just upload to my channel the trailer because in my opinion the trailer was kind of dull. Um, yes, Scarecrow at the end was awesome. The gameplay looked great, but really it wasn't really anything like except for Scarecrow, but I don't know. And then people said, uh, why haven't you done a face reaction to that Arkham uh, trailer with Scarecrow? Well, the time I watched it. Um, I have seen already so many people's thumbnails and it showed Scarecrow, so it kind of ruined the trailer for me. So I couldn't really watch it because I'm going to be like, okay, I already know Scarecrow's in this. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to be like, okay, okay, where's Scarecrow? Where's Scarecrow? So I didn't do a face cam reaction for that. That's why I didn't make any videos on it. I have seen it, guys. I have seen the trailer. I just haven't made any videos on it because uh, the trailer really... I really don't need to say anything about it. Scarecrow looks fantastic and the gameplay looks awesome. I like how he can do that fear takedown now where he jumps and takes down like three guys in like a second. That's pretty cool. All right, this one comes from the casual gamer. He asked, or this person asked, what is your favorite superhero? Now, I'm that's, that's kind of a hard question because um, there's a lot of superheroes I like from Marvel to DC. Um, but I'm gonna name one from each. My favorite Marvel would have to be Wolverine, because he's freaking awesome. Um, and DC, Aquaman, because seriously, Aquaman's, uh, what is it? He's low tier, no one l really likes him. He's like, oh, he only talks to fish. Well, guess what? Play me in Injustice and see who who's talking to fish now, right? <laughs> 
All right. Um, this one comes from Daniel Bricker. Will you do more? Uh, do more weekend warrior episodes like you did back then? Answer to that question is yes. I am planning on bringing back weekend warrior. I'm planning on bringing back a lot of stuff uh, that I used to do. And Weekend Warrior is just a great series. If you guys don't know what Weekend Warrior is, it's pretty much me uh, uploading a episode or a video every weekend, so Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, where I go online in a fighting game and I fight people and I just upload that. So, um, you know, it, it uh, varies from different games. Like, it could be Mortal Kombat one weekend. It could be Marvel vs. Capcom the next weekend. So, I don't know. I like doing that. And I, if you guys don't know, I love fighting games. So, I'm not really great at them, but I love playing them. So, I've tried to bring back a Weekend Warrior soon. And uh, we just got to wait and see about that. Hopefully, it's not too long of a wait. This one comes from Jake. He says, Straight Thuggin, please bring that back. Yo. As much as I want to bring back Straight Thuggin, see, that's one of the OG series on my channel, and I love Straight Thuggin. It, it's, Straight Thuggin's a two-way battle, man, or two-way thing. I need to be in it, and I need Jay to be in it. Without, without one of us, we can't do Straight Thuggin. Um, so, I don't know, man. Until Jay gets uh, his, uh, until me and Jay gets a game that we both have on the same thing, then we can do straight thug, but until then we can't because his Xbox 360 does not work and uh, Yeah, I have an Xbox 360. I also have an Xbox one. He doesn't I think he's getting one soon So until then no straight thuggins unfortunately Drake Smith says are you doing a Batman Arkham Knight walkthrough now? That is a great question and my answer to that is uh, Yeah, maybe <laughs> Um, I want to say yes, but I know everyone and their mothers will be uploading a Batman Arkham Knight walkthrough, and uh, I will be fine with that because I know Jay is going to do a walkthrough on that um, on his live stream, so I'm pretty sure he's going to upload that to his channel. Caboose, probably going to do it. ZNT, everyone's going to do it. Now, am I going to do it? Um, I don't... It's kind of hard... For me to do walkthroughs, you guys know that I don't like to do walkthroughs unless it gets a lot of support. Like my Mortal Kombat walkthrough right now, it's getting so much love, and I really appreciate it. That's why it's motivating me to keep going. Arkham Knight, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna motivate me too. But seriously, if you were subscribed to, I'm not saying like they're bad channels. Caboose, great channel, love that guy. J Roar, love everybody. I love everybody in the community. But if you guys are all subscribed to all of us and all of us uploads a Batman Arkham Knight walkthrough obviously you're not gonna watch every single one of us right so I don't know walkthrough we'll see um, right now I'm if anything I'm gonna live stream it but I don't know it all depends it all depends so maybe this one comes from Trey uh, he, he says if you didn't do YouTube what would you do uh, P.S. It's Trey from the live streams. Oh, what's up, Trey? Uh, so, if I didn't do YouTube, what would I do? Oh, man. I don't know, man. What would I do? I really don't know. Probably just get more hours at my job. It's pretty boring, but it's probably the truth. All right, this, comes from, uh, this question comes from JCR7. This person asks, you're an amazing YouTuber. Thank you. I know a lot of people have said that, but it's not really a question, so I can't reply to it. But thank you for all the people that said I'm an amazing YouTuber. Thank you. I love all you guys. Uh, he says, who do you think Arkham Knight will be? Or do you think he's just a man from scratch? I hope he is a brand new character. Okay, I hope we have never seen him before. And if we have, I hope he's not Jason Todd Red Hood. That's all I'm asking. Other than that, I, I, Arkham Knight could be anybody else. Just not Red Hood. I'm sorry. This one comes from Jacob. He says, which Ar uh, Batman Arkham game is your favorite? Ooh, that's a great question. I'm gonna say Arkham City because that's the first game that you can play as Robin um, in the DLC. So that's why I love it. It's a great game. This question comes from Mutant, and uh, he says, "Uncaged, could you please do uh, do give your thoughts on new X-rays from Mortal Kombat X?" Oh, that's a great question. I um, think the X-rays in Mortal Kombat X are awesome they kinda look even more deadly than the fatalities which is amazing uh, they they're when I watch the x-rays it kinda makes me cringe a little bit that's how like good they are so that's how I think the x-rays are they could be 
no, no, I can't even say that. They don't need to be better because they're already great. Um, I can't really think of specific ones right now. I know, um, I believe Sub Zero's is kind of like his old one where he grabs your like internal organs, smashes it with his hand, pulls it out, and it turns to like a giant spear and then stabs it in the eye. That's a cool one. That's a really cool one. This one comes from Oakland Rene 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 Rene. Is the Xbox One good or should I buy the PS4? Because I don't know what to get. I know you have an Xbox One, and if I get an Xbox, you should play online with your fans. Um, now, obviously, I'm not just going to say Xbox because I'm an Xbox, but I'm going to say Xbox because I'm an Xbox. I like the PS4 also. I'm not saying PS4 sucks. I love both consoles. They're both great consoles. But I picked Xbox because it had more games that I want. Dead Rising 3, I love Dead Rising, and that's the only reason why I got the Xbox One. PS4 at the time, there was no games that intrigued me. If the if Dead Rising came out for both consoles, then I'd probably get the PS4. But because I um, had a lot of coupons and everything, I bought my Xbox One with the Kinect, with my Dead Rising 3, with 10 shrubs for my dad. We got all that for the price of a PS4. So, saving money. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I can't tell you which console to buy. You just have to go with your gut and look at the games. And or look at the people that you're friends with, uh, people that you know, and see if they have what consoles. Because you don't want to be getting a PS4 or an Xbox One, and your friends has the opposite. So then you guys can't play together. So I don't know. Um, you just gotta make that decision for yourself, man. This this one comes from Eddie. He says, "Do you think in Mortal Kombat X the players will be will have more than one fatality like the last one?" Yes, I do for sure. I'm positive that they're gonna have a uh, more fatalities. Because if the last game had like three fatalities each, I'm pretty sure at least they're going to have three fatalities. Maybe even more. Three fatalities would be fine. I like that. This one comes from Cameron. He says, uh, what was your first Batman game you played? Oh my goodness. That is a... Oh god, what was it? It might have been... Um... Maybe Batman or Robin for the Super Nintendo or something like that. It was an old console. I don't know. It's, it, it was not Arkham Asylum, so I can tell you that. This one comes from... I'm going to say your last name because your first name is, like, super difficult for me. I think it's, your last name is v Viliz. Viliz. This person asked, Who do you want to be revealed in MKX trailer? Obviously, Johnny Cage. I want to see what he looks like now. I also want to see... Um, some some just new characters actually I just want to see some new characters and uh, Johnny Cage yes I want to see Sonya what she looks like so yeah just just the norm just the normal nothing too crazy um, what would I, what would blow my mind oh I also the, what I want to be revealed in Mortal Kombat X is a guest character that's what I want to be revealed but that will happen very very close to the end of the game because obviously the guest character will probably be DLC um, so yeah. Alright, this one comes from Asha. Uh, this person asked, here's my question. If you could bring back any MK9 character, four of them, who would it be? Oh my goodness. Now, if you guys have not seen my latest episode of Mortal Kombat 9, Let's Play featuring Nightwolf, um, a lot happened in that episode, so go check that out. But who would I want to bring back from MK9? Uh, let's see. Obviously, I want to bring back Jade. Um, that's one. I'll probably like to bring back Cyber Sub Zero, but I want to bring him back as Sub Zero. I would like to bring back mm -mm, mm -mm. Kung Lao. Obviously, Kung Lao is awesome. One more person would probably be Cabal. Cabal is a cool guy. I don't know. Those are my four. My top three would probably be Jade, Kung Lao, and Sub Zero. Alright, this one comes from Veer, Veer Pal, Veer Pal. Um, my question is, will you ever buy a PS3 to play with uh, play with us on the PS3, and how old are you? And also, can you do a Watch Dogs review video? Alright, three questions here. Um, first question, will I buy a PS3? No, probably not. I'll probably not buy a PS3. Main reason for that is because the new consoles are out, the next-gen consoles, or the current-gen consoles now. So I don't really want to go and buy a $300, $400 console on a last-gen console. Uh, I don't see the point of that. Um, I ha there's a higher chance of me buying a PS4 than buying a PS3. 
How old am uh, How old am I? I am 18 years old. My birthday is July 27th, so it's getting there. So I'm gonna be turning 19. I know I sound like a like a white kid, but uh, I'm Asian and I'm 18. And will you do a Watch Dogs review video? Probably not. Um, I have not. I have not played Watch Dogs in a while. I still need to get back into the game. The game's, the game let me down. I thought it was gonna be like GTA. It's not, and it's so plain. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do a review on it, but I'll still play it. What do you? Uh, this one comes from Eric, and he says, "What do you think of Dick Grayson becoming an agent? I think it's all right. I love Dick Grayson as Nightwing, but now he's an agent because everybody knows he's Nightwing. I don't know." I think it's a cool idea, but I like him as Nightwing. But what can you do? This one comes from Jeremy Phillips. This person asks, which Robin is your favorite? Obviously Dick Grayson, because he's the original Robin and became Nightwing. So that's why I like him the best. And probably my second would be Jason Todd, then Tim Drake, then Damian Wayne. So it's pretty much in order. <laughs> This one comes from Boar1739. Uh, would you do one of two videos? Do a review on Arkham Origins or compare Arkham Origins to Arkham Origins Blackgate? That would be awesome. P.S. What do you think about the Arkham Knight is in Injustice 2? Now, uh, will I do a review on Arkham Origins? Probably not because the game has been out for a while now and so many people have already done reviews on it. So I really don't think it's necessary for me to do it. Uh, and compare Arkham Origins to Arkham Origins Blackgate. All I can say is Arkham Origins is way better than Arkham Origins Blackgate. Um, there were so many problems in that game. And I, it's, it's fun while it lasted, but I, I don't enjoy that game at all. Do you think Arkham Knight is in Injustice 2? It's too soon to say. They haven't even announced, like, confirmed Injustice 2 yet, so I don't want to talk about that. If anything, I'll talk about M MKX, but not Injustice 2 yet. Do you think Freddy Krueger could be in Mortal Kombat X? Um, now, I think there is a chance that he could be in Mortal Kombat X. Will he, though? Uh, it's very hard to say because I don't think they, uh, NetherRealm wants to bring back a guest character um, they, if anything, I can see them bringing in Jason, uh, but not Freddy. Now, not not bringing back Freddy. Now I want to bring back Freddy and have Jason, so we can do Freddy vs. Jason finally. But I don't know, man. William, this question comes from William, and he says, "What villain do you want to see in the Flash TV show? Obviously, Captain Cold, because he's cool." <laughs> this one comes from Time Lord Assassin. Do you like cheese? Yes, I do like cheese. Mr. Jumpy Jumper. My question is, what equipment do you use? Oh, that's a um, kind of a tough one. I, I use a lot of different equipment. I, I have a uh, Samsung QX411 laptop. I have a Gearhead laser mouse. I have a Samsung Meteor 3 mic. And I have a little ripped up coloring book for my mouse pad because I'm ghetto. That's pretty much what I use, and I use uh, the HogPog HD PVR to record my Xbox 360 gameplay, and I got a Elgato from my great buddy j -Roar. He sent it to me, um, and I use that to record my Xbox Uno gameplay. And the last question of the Q&A, this one comes from Batman The Flash. What are you most excited about in Batman Arkham Knight? I'm excited about, what am I excited for the game? Probably seeing um, just the game look great and probably being able to explore more of uh, the city and stuff because they said it's five times bigger than the original map uh, in Arkham City. Yeah, in Arkham Knight, the city is a lot bigger than in Arkham City. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just excited to play the game. That's what I'm excited for. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. A lot of great questions were, uh, were asked and I tried. I think I nailed every answer or every, every question I answered everything a uh, few of them people asked um, they were kind of similar to other questions so I kind of just answered that as one question so uh, yeah I pretty much got through everybody's question I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys do want to see more Q&A's like one every week so I can you know answer the questions that you guys have for me uh, leave a comment down below and let me know so I can do more and if I get a lot of uh, support and a lot of uh, requests to do more Q&A's then I will do one 
uh, every week or every other week or something like that because uh, I don't know life is crazy so I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video make sure you guys like the video show your support comment down below and let me know uh, if you guys have any more questions for me so I can probably do it in my next Q&A video and let me know if you guys want to see more Q&A videos like every week or every other week but subscribe if you guys are new my name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged there to take out Batman Obviously, like we mentioned already, we've got Scarecrow Night, we'll leave the agent together, try and take down the band. <laughs>